This Christmas ornament sold over 43 times in the last 24 hours. And there's another product like this that has sold 51 products in the last 24 hours. And this product right here has made over $6,000 in sales just by creating this simple item alone. And there are tons of products just like this that's doing extremely well also. So if you're thinking about creating anything for the Q4 season, especially for Christmas, Definitely creating these Christmas ornaments might be a huge opportunity for you to make tons of sales on Etsy. And I want to share with you a very simple way for you to create and design similar products you can start creating and selling today on Etsy. I want to share this all with you coming up next. All right, so the space that we're going to use today to create these type of products is utilizing Printify. We have a lot of products to sell, but more specifically, we're talking about selling these Christmas ornaments. And so to find that, just simply go over to ornaments and have a lot of ornaments to choose. Now, one of the easiest ways for you to figure out well, what type of ornament I should sell, obviously go back to best selling products and see in the description what they're selling. But Printify also lets you know the top trending product because they will share with you the best sellers badge, even in their space here of just products that are selling well. So in today's video, we're just going to simply focus on selling these ceramic ornaments here again we can see the price for this product starts off at six dollars and three cents but of course if you are utilizing printify premium you get that at a little bit of discount here if you are at that stage in your business where you do want to get these things at a discount i make sure i leave all of that information down in my description box below you can get started for free here but again if you do want to check out that discount code where you're able to get the discounts for the products i make sure I leave all that in my description box below so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and design and create for this Christmas area. Let's head over to Printify just to see the actual pixel count we need to create for our canvas. So again, the specific product that we're going to create today is the ceramic ornament here. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see all the information regarding this particular print on demand provider here. Again, the price, we see the shipping costs, the average production time, and what area of the actual uh, product we can print on. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get start designing. And obviously, before we even start designing, we definitely got to make sure that we are creating this to be the highest quality possible for this particular print on demand product. Every print on demand product changes based upon the print area. So for you to get the best measure measurements before you start designing things here is go up to the top left hand corner where you have the print information scroll down to the bottom and specifically we're looking at this area here just to get the proper print size for this area and we have 954 by 954 and this is the proper size we're going to add when we open up our canvas in our design software so our design software that we're going to use today is kittle again we're going to open up a new project here and we're going to go ahead and add in that custom size here that we know to be perfect for this Christmas ornament, which is 954 by 954. We're gonna head over to settings and put in our own custom settings here. Again, before we put in a number, just make sure this is set to pixel count. That is gonna give us the proper size that we have here in Printify. So we go to width and put 954 and head over to height and put 954. And we'll leave everything the same here because with the pixel count that we have, this is going to be set to a high setting. So no need to change this here. And then we'll go to the bottom here and go ahead to create. And now we have that perfect canvas size that we can start designing and creating our product. Now, specifically today, we're definitely going to utilize some AI prompts to get that initial phase of creating that letter. And then we'll go in manually to add in that personalization. And really, once you find a prompt that works out well, you can create multiple different type of letters to fit within that space and then even branch off into other design styles where you just need to change a little bit just to add in some unique features there. So with that being said, we'll head over to the AI tool with Kittle right here in the left hand side, Kittle AI. We head over to the top right portion. We're going to go ahead and create the image here with image generator. And this is the box that we're going to add our prompt in here for us to generate that letter for our Christmas ornament. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and create multiple artboards here before we get into designing our product here, because I think creating multiple art artboards give us a huge opportunity to see the different type of variations we can come up with in regards to our design. So with that being said, we're going to head over to artboard here and just simply duplicate this over. And then we have two here. And I think it'd be good if we create a total of three. We have three artboards here and we're going to put in our prompt today to see what type of Christmas letters we can get and see the different variations and different styles and even the different letters we can come up with in regards to our design. All right. So now we have our artboards created and now I'm going to go and get a prompt that is going to create these 
type of Christmas ornament designs, but we want to add in a unique area where I think focusing on a particular character or a children's theme could be great for these ornaments here. So one of the themes that we are going to take is the popular dinosaur theme and combine it with the ornament theme that I think will work out extremely well here. That being said, I want to head over to Kittle AI and I already have my prompt in here and I'll make sure I leave this prompt down below if you want to copy this as well. All right, so here's the prompt that we're going to put in for today's example. It is a Christmas a letter that we're going to create. So we're going to combine two things here, a dinosaur theme along with the ornament theme for Christmas. So we have create the letter A as an image of a Christmas dinosaur character in a whimsical watercolor hand-drawn style. Then we put here a picture, a green Tyrannosaurus Rex wearing a festive red hat, a scarf surrounded by decorative stars and a pine tree motif. The background should resemble enhancing the holiday theme in a children's book style. And when we hit generate here, we can see some great results come up and we'll see what we get as a result here for our artboard. All right, so here's what we have for our first design. I think that came out extremely well. Now, of course, if you're doing any characters like a dinosaur, you got to know which ones you're creating for. But again, this is a great example of how easy it is to create a Christmas ornament that I believe is high quality. We can change the letter out into different ones or change the dinosaurs out into different ones. Or if we just want to keep it simple, we can create different type of Christmas themes with a snowman or a reindeer, what have you. But you can see here, this is really easy to do, just putting in a prompt and you get these amazing results. Now, I make sure I leave the prompt down in my description box below if you want to go ahead and play with this problem and get some similar results here but as you can see that came out extremely well one of the things we definitely want to do is add in personalization so if we just were to put a placeholder here we can put in a name at the bottom just for a placeholder and we have the name andrew here and then we'll also put in the year so we'll double this up and i like to make the names a little smaller and i like to make the date a little bit smaller here and just put in more of the name for what we have and you can do some changes with the font style if you want to in this letter here, in this area here, just to bring out what we have. But again, I think this came out really well. And if you want to change up again, the type of color that we have here, we can do that as well. We can fit in with some of the green that we have with our design here. But just as an example, I think this came out extremely well and it could be a great product you can sell on Etsy and start designing and creating for yourself. But I think this came out extremely well. Now, again, we can also characterize this a little bit more if you want to put in some more designs here. So for instance, let's say we want to put in a different design, maybe not a dinosaur theme, but just a different theme here. We can go back up to our prompt. This time, focus on the letter C. And instead of us creating a dinosaur character, let's go ahead and create maybe a Christmas snowman here. And we still definitely want to have it in a scarf. So instead of it picturing a green Tyrannosaurus Rex, we're just going to simply change this out here and put in a cute snowman in the winter snow. And then we can put it here as well, wearing the same type of thing here. And again, everything here is just going to stay the same. Again, we're not going to make too many changes. But again, if you just want to change the character out, we can definitely do that here. Again, we have this set to a watercolor here for our clip art style. So let's go ahead and hit create image and see what we get as a result. All right, so here is the result of the letter C here. And again, we put in that different character for our Christmas theme here, focusing on the snowman and the letter C. And you can see here that it changed it up quite good here just to fit to what we put in as a result. But again, the main thing here is that this is going to be perfect. Again, uploading this to a Christmas ornament and definitely making our style a little bit more better because when we see those basic styles of just the letter itself and then a clip art tied to that letter here, you can see how much of this personalization we can add, but also this characterization that we can have with our design. So I think this came out extremely well. And of course, if you don't like this particular style here, you can always hit generate again and then it'll generate a different image for us. And again, the goal here is to create a set of these. So just not letter C, but the entire alphabet. And of course, some things might change. Obviously, we're not going to get the same result when we are creating these prompts, but we should get something close to what we have that can still have a great continuity with all of the designs that we create. And here is an example of yet again, another Christmas letter. We have letter D here, but the only thing that we changed with our prompt, we just simply changed out the letter, but you can see that state very true to the style that we have here, which I think is going to work out well when you're trying to build these out into the entire alphabet. And what I found too, is that the more clear you are in regards to your prompt and what you want the AI to create, then you definitely want to be clear in regards to your prompt. But I think this came out extremely well. And of course, if we do want to focus on maybe a different character, again, maybe we don't want to focus on a snowman. You can see how easy this is to build out and maybe this time we just want to put a gingerbread man here 
And this is what you would do to build out these type of designs for your Christmas ornaments. Again, you can start selling these on Etsy and it really start blowing up your sales. As we can see, these are making tons of sales on Etsy. And we can see a similar styles like this is selling extremely well on Etsy here. Again, 12 people brought this in the last 24 hours, which is doing extremely well. And, and definitely we can create things that's more associated with this if we wanted to. But as you can see here, definitely all things fitting into Christmas letter and the ornament and that personalization of the name and the date could be a huge win for you moving forward this Christmas season. Now, one thing we need to do before we actually download this is to make sure that the background is removed. So in order for that to happen, simply head over to the right hand side with Kittle, hit a background remover, and that will ensure that this is going to be a transparent design. We can upload them to our Etsy shop. So everything is good here. So we'll simply head over to a download. And because we're just going to select this artboard here, we're going to deselect all the artboards and just simply focus on artboard one. And I'm not too concerned about this being the 72 DPI setting here, because as you can see, once we upload this over and to printify, this DPI is going to be perfect for our design because we follow the dimensions here. I'll make sure the background is removed as well as the quality is high. I'll go ahead and hit download. This is going to be perfect for us to upload onto our Printify product. We can start selling on Etsy. So here we are in Printify and now we're going to head over to the catalog. We're going to head over to the section where we can create our ornament design here or upload our ornament design. We're going to go with this bestseller one that again works extremely well in regards to price and, and just the overall shipping. And I think this is a great place for you to start here. So we'll go ahead and go down to the bottom and then we're going to hit start designing. We're going to upload our design. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can drag and drop our design over here, or we can head over to the upload button here and upload our design. I'm just going to simply drag and drop my design here. And as you can see, that came out extremely well. Now, of course, we definitely want to make sure this is fitting inside of the circle that we have because anything outside of this is not going to be printed. So we can shrink this down to size here. Now, with that being said, we can head over to preview if you want to see how it looks. And we can see that came out extremely well with our design. Again, utilizing those unique art styles with AI in addition to our print on demand design. I think this is perfect for us to start creating and selling on our Etsy shop. And we can create multiples of these here, obviously focusing on different letters and bringing in a personalization. But again, this can compete with some of the best products we see on Etsy right now. And we can start creating these ourselves. Now, if you do want to find some great mockups to use for your Etsy shopping, maybe you don't want to utilize these here on Printify. You can always head over to Etsy and search up Christmas ornament mockups. And you can see they have a ton of different Christmas ornament mockups you can use. And some of these are simply drag and drop even into Canva where you can just drag and drop the design here. But again, these are really good to use. It will really make your product stand out extremely well and definitely bring more life to your designs. Having great mockups is always a great way for you to earn clicks and gain sales as well. Now, again, if you want to get access to this prompt that I use here, I make sure I leave all of this down in my description box below for you to get this prompt and try it out on your own and even get started with Printify yourself so you can start creating these designs for your Etsy business. Now, if you're new to selling things online with Etsy and you're not sure how to get started, then check out my link down below. I have created a free Etsy course that will share with you everything you need to do from start to finish to get your Etsy shop up and running today. Again, check out that link down below to get access to my free Etsy course. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online with Etsy, then consider subscribing to my channel here and check out this next video where I talk about another top trending product you should start creating and selling online today. As always, my friends, my name is Jay and I will see you in the next video.